Hey guys, uh, welcome to this lecture again. Uh, so in this lecture, we'll talk about carbon monoxide and how you can access it using the Erzingen um, uh, platform um, using Sentinel data. So carbon monoxide is perhaps one of the uh, little um, um, greenhouse gas that's known uh, that can cause you know days, um, especially if it's um, available indoors, uh, closer to f about 500 um, people per year um, die uh, only in the United States. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a pretty important greenhouse gas, as you can see here in this map. Um, it, it's occurring in some part of the um, Central Africa and mostly in Asia, according to, you know, the NASA website. Um, so, you know, let's, let's look at, you know, how you can access that, that data on Earth's engine. So we'll be, we'll be using the Sentinel uh, 5P, um, you know, sensor, which is um, launched, um, uh, you know, recently. So I'll import, so the first thing is I'll import the image collection, uh, as you know, the Cop Copernicus. Uh, and S5P, that's the sensor. Uh, there are various sentinels, you know, sensors, so I'll choose this and um, specifically uh, L3 um, underscore CO, that's the, you know, carbon monoxide, um, you know, and also there are different layers in the carbon monoxide, uh, so I'll specifically select my um, specific layer. Uh, which is, um, you know, carbon monoxide number density. Uh, and also I can filter by date here, as you can see, um, you know, 2019, June, um, for the month of June, about, um, you know, 10 days range, right? Um, so we can map, um, you know, carb global coverage of carbon monoxide uh, for the months of June, early June, the early weeks of June, 2019. So when I visualize, um, you know, I'll have some color parameters here, which I'll call band Vs here when I uh, display my map. Um, so, you know, red and yellow are mostly uh, high density of carbon monoxide, whereas black um, and blue are, you know, lower concentration of carbon monoxide. And so I'll um, execute map dot add layer to display my um, image here. Since this is an image collection, I'll calculate some aggregate statistics here. I'll call this image collection over here. And dot mean will aggregate the entire um, time series of image within uh, the month of June, early months of June. and um, give me uh, one single image aggregate for each pixel it will calculate the mean value for for you know for, for the for the for that period which is early june um and i'll again i'll um, uh, use uh, or cast my visualization parameter which i already defined here and i can name the layer as uh, you know sv5p sensor and carbon monoxide co and finally adjust the map center so that I'll, I'll, I'll zoom into some some area and then finally um, execute the code. Once the code is executed, uh, I'll just go to the map canvas. As I said, red and yellow are a pretty high density of carbon monoxide, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so as you can see here, this is part of Africa. Uh, if I toggle the map image, you can see Africa, you know, uh, Latin America and Asia here, if you look at here. So mostly high concentration is red um, and high concentration of carbon monoxide here in, um, you know, mostly Central Africa or the Congo Basin and, uh, you know, China and some part of, um, uh, you know, Thailand and, um, you know, India, uh, actually mostly India um, and China. Um, so uh, this is, uh, you know, interesting. Uh, and in, in terms of, um, you know, concentration, uh, low concentration of, um, you know, carbon monoxide, you can look at mostly, um, you know, Southern America or even, 
you know, um, some part of the West, Western United States, as you can see here, um, it's pretty low concentration. But uh, when you look at, you know, Eastern United States, uh, you know, relatively high concentration. So that's how you can, you know, access a global level carbon monoxide data, uh, carbon monoxide data using the Sentinel, um, you know, satellite, um, specifically S5B. Okay.